Hello, today it's about the Xylond Age, episode 1, which is an adventure that you can get for free in the App Store. This is the App Store, uh, here it is, this is the App Store page where you can get it and this is the home page. The clue at giving it away for free is the studio House on Fire uh, is collecting money through their home page for developing the second episode of it, episode 2. So. If you want to test that adventure and give it a try, you can play it completely for free. You get it for free. And if you like it and want an episode 2, just hop over to their homepage and donate via PayPal uh, some bucks that they can develop episode 2. They say they need 25k for doing episode 2. And I truly hope, I, I myself donated some money. I took the smallest amount, I'm sorry for that, but I'm not the rich guy. So uh, I gave them three bucks for developing the episode two. And if you want to test that adventure and give some bucks afterward, it would be so awesome because we all like it very much. It's one of the most reviewed and uh, talk abouts from the last week, uh, which got new to the App Store. So here we go. And enough of that chit chat, we're directly hopping into it. The Silent Age. I will lower the camera a little that you can see me playing on my iPad here. Um, it's about a janitor, jan janitor, and that janitor is the average guy. He's average in height, he's average in age, he's average in looking, he's average completely. And we're starting at 1965, where he has just a janitor job. And it turns out that he gets a time travel device and that makes the whole thing so much more interesting. So here is 1965 uh, in front of his own office room. There's a note stick to it that his boss wants to see him. Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you, Frank. So after we had been in our office for a short while to pick up two things, we will directly go to the boss and meet him. So first of all, it's very dark inside here because the light bulb is broken, but we see another light bulb. Put it in the inventory, go back to the broken one, tap once on the light bulb in the inventory, then on this one, on the broken one, and he will change it. And then we turn on the lights. Hooray! You see a lot of crap lying around. There are some barrels uh, which no one wanted, so I was so nice to put it in my room. Ha! We're Mr. Nice Guy. This is a key card, a blue key card for getting to the boss. And these gloves, some rubber gloves, we should take with us. We need them later. And that's it in our own room. We don't have to do much more here. So now we take the elevator using the key card and getting into the elevator and one floor up. What the heck? Ah, here we are. It looked just so much the same. I thought we didn't travel, but we did. So talk to the secretary. Hello, sweetie. Mr. Hill is expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Cat's got your tongue? Just get your hiney in there. We will do, mate. We will do. So in front of us is one of the talks to a boss which no one of us wants to have in real life. He has a pretty long desk with two phones on it and a red one. Do you see the, the red phone? Wow, it must be important. And what he tells us is the story of a colleague that has left because I think they fired him. And that I got the duties of these colleague. And the good thing is I don't get more payments, I don't have more free time, I have only more duties. That's really the point no one wants of us to, to hear it ever from your boss. Um, we reward achievements in this organization, young man, and you just made yourself a gold star. 
This means that from now on you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. Thank you very much. I wish I would have never gone upstairs to the boss. Thank you, sir. But what about Frank? We wish him all the best. Means they fired him. Damn. Good. What we got is a keycard for level 2, a red one, which we use at another elevator to get into the basement, which has been the assignments of Frank to clean up there. Now it's... Oh, oh sorry. Accidentally entered the bureau of the boss again. We don't have to talk to the secretary again, there will be nothing new right now. We will visit her soon again. So let's move to the next elevator. Can't wait to show you the time travel. So level 2 keycard. But by the way people, you see this adventure is for free. While you're still watching my video, go and and get that adventure and then come back and look my video and subscribe. Subscribe please, or at least give me a thumbs up, come on. Yeah, that's what you could do before you leave and get that adventure, it's for free. And donate afterwards. So pressing the button here, um, these items are on the floor, I can't pick them up. Neither the tin foil hat, uh, neither the blood there. There's blood on the floor. Ooh, slowly is getting curious and interesting. Computers. Computers. And all he says that a computer reminds him of the Pong machine they got down at Izzy's. That thing is amazing. Better not touch it. So another keypad and another door, but Sadly, it's locked the cryogenics and a broken keypad for what reason and you see there's there's blood overall not much But there's blood overall um, It says I could fix the panel if I had something to cover my hands So we use the rubber gloves for that and hooray the panel is fixed And now we can immediately open the door there go in In that coat we will find a handkerchief and the handkerchief we take to clean up some blood. So now we have a handkerchief with blood on it. There's two buttons, one on the left side and one on the right side of the door. And as you might figure out by yourself, you have to press both at the same time, which we can't do. Our arms are not long enough, it looks like, but it doesn't work. So we have to do a trick. And the trick is, we go up to the secretary, again, all the long way, taking both elevators, and show her the blood. Now wait for what happens then. This, this might be a good time too, to, to get the adventure in the App Store. While you're watching my video on your PC or Mac, you can go with your iOS device and get that adventure. Mm-hmm. The controls are so so easy. It's it's a delight. It's just an old point-and-click adventure, and I've fallen for these kind of adventures for a long time ago. So I will play this. Oh, okay. First talking to her before I wave that like an idiot. But she doesn't let me talk. She keeps talking and talking and talking on her own and thought I had cut it myself. Ha! I didn't cut myself, but... <laughs> Look what we got! A band-aid! <clears throat> and as a band-aid is very good taping to fingers and maybe to buttons too. So let's go down to the two buttons and band-aid one of the button. <clears throat> elevator, elevator, elevator.
Ooh, are you as curious as me to see what's behind that big door? So, the band-aid on the left one. And me, myself, will put my finger on the right one. And the door suddenly opens. I mean, it's like everything with adventures, you need a little fantasy. And there's a guy sitting when the blood leads to him, so he might be injured. Hmm. Mister, are you alright? You're bleeding. That is, that is a lot of blood. I'll go get help. No. No, don't get anyone. Are you alone? I'm not sure what. I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes, yes. I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen. <laughs> I'm shot bad. <laughs> he played FPS games too much. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. This version of him? Hmm. What's important is that you understand what I'm telling to you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with me. Shut up and pay attention. You're standing on the brink of an extinction level event set in motion by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman and child on the planet. Blah, 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 blah. What turns out, you can read that when you're playing it because it's for free. You will play it, I'm pretty sure. Um, you need this. And now you see we have a device, we have a device in our inventory which, it, which has a button, a glowing button, and you won't believe what this button will do. It's a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. It's a time machine. It's a freaking time machine. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? And sadly, I think he's dead now. Yep, goofed out. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, we we didn't kill him. No, no, no. So, and at the point when someone's shoot pointing a gun at your head, and you have a time machine in your pocket, that might be the perfect time to try out that time machine, isn't it? So, oh wait, he takes us with me, oh, so the use of the time machine will be delayed. Oh, the, the, the good cop, bad cop thing, yeah, the one sitting in front of me tries to be the good cop and explains to me that his colleague is the bad cop and... I shall not try anything fancy but telling them what they want to hear. And what does this device do? And I can t show you by pressing the button and disappearing. Isn't that cool? Bam. And there's a door. Wow. Walking to that door. Going through the light. And no, we're not dead. We're just going through the light. And all of a sudden, we appear to be in the future. Yep. And that's as far as I wanted to show you. Um, from now on, you have the possibility to switch between the present and the future. You see at the future, there's a continue button. And that's awesome. And yeah, so again, dear viewers, this is a free adventure and go get it. If you liked what you see, subscribe my channel or give me a thumbs up or both of it. Both of it would be fine too. So this is Moz over and out. Bye bye. See you for the next games.